Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, setting multiple cookies. We're talking about setting cookies in Go. And so we saw these two things here. We could set one cookie. Here we're setting one cookie called my cookie. And we're setting it to any value we want. That could be any string. And then we could read it right here or request the cookie. But when we request this cookie, we get C1. And then we're also requesting cookie general C2. And then down here, we could set an abundance of cookies. And so if we go to that route, we're going to set another one called general, another called specific. And, uh, and then we could ask for those general and specific. So what happens when we ask for a cookie and it doesn't exist, right? Let's see what happens there. And uh, we'll run this code. And so control C and then go up a level and come back down into A2 and go run main.go. And then first I'm just going to go to localhost and uh, check my browser. And I can clear that out, just make sure I start fresh and refresh. And now I've got a cookie there in application tab, cookies. And uh, if you're just watching this video online, I know for those of you who follow me and watch my videos all the time, you know this, but go to GitHub, Ghost11. We're in the Golang web dev repo. And, um, you know, I just want to point that out in case somebody's only catching this video. And you can find me on Twitter right there where I'm always talking about Golang stuff. Love it. So um, here we wrote one cookie, and we could read that cookie. And we read it, and there it is. And there, it just if it asks if you ask to read a cookie like we just did right there, right? We we went to read, read right. Went to that route, ran this chunk of code, and it asked for general and specific, and they weren't there. And it's just like, eh, no problem. Did it log any errors? And it said name cookie not present. So those were the errors, right? And so all we did when when we said so it asked for the cookie. No cookie cookie was there, so it threw an error, and the error is not nil. Right? There is an error. It's not nil. So we just printed the error out and we were done. Uh, otherwise, we'd, we'd print out the cookie value. So now if we go to abundance, we could write some more cookies. And if we look there, we should have three cookies now. And I've written three cookies. My cookie, general, and specific. Right? And now if I go back to read, it'll read all those cookies. And I read them all. And there's no error this time, but all three of those got read. So that's kind of cool. Just showing you could write multiple cookies in Go. And I think we'll keep these videos short.